you know, way back when, like all the way down here at the bottom of the page, way back when, how to add self-hosted videos to your site. I did this video, and it's actually quite popular on the site, but it's out of date. And so what we're going to do is take a look at it again in more detail and with the current state of the plugin. And we're going to do that on this site here, on the Community Library Case Study site. Let's see. First, I want to update that. And then I'm going to get rid of that tiny MCE. I don't think I am. Going to disable that here. Plugins. because tiny mce advanced disables some functionality in in the, the fv wordpress flow player plugin and so we're going to add a new plugin to the site and it's the fv wordpress flow player And we're going to install 1.2 and say yes to that and activate the plugin. And what this plugin does now is it creates a settings page here for us to set the settings for the video. And we're going to come back to this in a minute because before we talk about the settings, we're going to look at how to get video to use these settings for.